morning all of you the agenda of today's webinar is how do we balance upsc preparation between studies and work right many times we juggle up what to do what to study the syllabus is huge and when we are an additional responsibility of managing work it becomes tough that how do we manage the work and studies together it is a tricky thing ki uh, ma'am should i take a job ma'am should i just focus on the uh, you know personal life and my work so yes it's a tricky thing so today we have with us mr ishan bhartwaj thank you so much sir for being part yes good morning everybody so my name is ishan ishan bhartwaj i am good morning i am right now assistant commissioner of police in new delhi and i was told that the uh, the students are like we need a interact interactive session regarding how to prepare during covid times and how to prepare basically for the working professionals and the students who are doing the studies also so like first of all i welcome you all see upsc is a okay upsc is a multi multi fold task okay upsc doesn't means that you have to focus on one subject one area one side of your personality you have to focus on everything like the biggest thing is about the time management okay so i guess you all know time management everybody do even from a housewife from a student from a office worker from a daily wage earner everybody has their time that this from this time to this time i will work from this time to this time i will entertain myself and from this time to this time i'll sleep and take rest so same goes for upsc students like your your you are here to achieve a task this is a task okay because everybody in this country is fighting for one thing ias and how many seats are there 180 seats so 180 seats one side and lakhs of people one side it means there this is a task even if there is no exam and you put 180 and lakh number is big quite big so you have to work hard so from the day one remember that you have to have yourself keep pushing keep working hard okay why we need to work hard because if we'll not work hard the time management which we decided to finish the exam in a year or two it will not be achieved okay like when i started preparing preparation in my first second two attempts i was not able to clear the mains exam because what i realized that i was lacking some kind of time management i was not able to give equal time with ratio with right ratio and right energy to all the subjects somewhere i was giving more time to geography sometime i was giving more time to polity environment but when i cleared the exam i was i started realizing that now this is the time that i have been giving the right amount of time and energy to each subject okay so then only i was able to clear the exam and i am telling you i was i haven't taken a leave or i, I was not taken like what we say a whole year or two year as as a pre like nothing i was doing nothing i was doing my law i was doing my regular study and with that i was also studying in the evening i used to study for ias and morning i used to attend college so and the college was a very tough one we had to do the internship we have to do the models we have to do the projects we have to go to the courts we have to do the moot courts and then every semester we have to give vivas everything but still i knew that i have to do upsc or ias studies in the time which we got spare obviously the time which we have is the last the day of us because if you are in a college or if you are in a working field they must be like you must be working at least till 5 or 6 4 7 then you have your night time and early morning time so time management and working hard goes together okay one side is time management one side you are working hard both of the things you have to focus together okay my first point so there is a question how to manage pressure of the exams yeah 
to see the day one you whenever you feel pressurized or some some heavy like weight is there on your shoulder or in your head what do you have to think day one why you came to prepare for upsc why you decided to prepare for upsc it was it was who who decided to prepare for upsc and become an ias that things when you realize that there was a day when you were you were knowing nothing about upsc and there is a day that you are just able to sit in the prelims or mains or interview that fact will really depressurize you it was me it was myself who one day like down the year one year or two year back who who decided to become an ias who made an endeavor like you are not an ias but you made an endeavor to become an ias which is which means that you will be working as an secretary to government of india one day secretary to government of india is the highest post you can achieve so you will be working on that post so obviously that thing going back to that time that it was me who decided to prepare for this exam it will give you some strength required strength and mental toughness so mental toughness doesn't come in one day mental toughness comes from the day you decided to become an ias and the day you will finish off your training not just selection the training so mental toughness will take you there and keep motivated keep inspired sometimes keep changing your routine don't stuck in a boring singular singularity routine that you are doing things in a in a way just in a way keep changing them and keep talking to your parents to your family to your friends who knows that how much serious he or she is for the exam okay these things if you do regularly or routinely i i think these things will help okay now i'll focus on one thing that see not everybody is free in this world right now i either you are working from home or you are studying from home or you are doing something but at the same time you also want to be an ias you also want to be an ips you all you also want to be an whatever like irs ifs a civil servant basically who work for the civil society for the people of india so how to manage that so now here comes the weekend now weekend in generally weekend if we talk about weekend is like why weekends are there think about it because a person the working class the working class of the country the working class means the the population who is working daily it means that 18 20 bracket to 60 65 so there is a, there is a population who is working like so working population need something na that's why there is a concept of weekend like you can't work every day after 5 6 days you need something that's why sunday is there so now i want to focus on the why weekend class or some weekend routine of yours related to upsc is important because see if you are a working professional you must be working 5 days 6 days if you are a student you must be studying like 5 days 6 days but generally or like what what we see nobody disturbs you on a sunday or a saturday so now this is the time because if you want to prepare if you want to prepare with work then you have to make a long term goal that i i call that long term preparation plan like without long term preparation plan nothing you can't think of achieving even prelims your clearing prelims or mains leave clearing upsc so you first of all you should have something in your mind that this is a long term preparation plan and you have 52 weekends like 52 weeks or 52 weekends in your hand so before going into full preparation zone like before writing prelims before writing mains you have to have at least one year of preparation and that can be achieved by getting into some study program on weekends getting into some some group study in weekends or getting into some online sort of plan which helps you which helps you stabilize every weekend see 
if you will do on your own what will happen you have to manage you have to balance your work you have to balance your personal life and on weekend you have to balance on your preparation also but if somebody is there if you are attached with somebody or if you are guided or mentored by something which which keeps you motivated or which keeps you on track basically upsc have like 20 subjects 20 subjects you have to study at least to sit in an interview and how to make a plan which works best for you only you know but how to how to monitor it you don't know because you can only prepare you can't monitor yourself through this exam because this exam is again a year or two year long process so i think weekend class this working professionals or students who are in some program or some studies program they should be focused on weekend like weekend is the thing obviously you can do a lot of things on weekend but by the time you are preparing by the time you are deciding in the whole time i think weekend is the best time when you can give some test and you can study something you can revise something and before going into full blow preparation because see finally when you are writing when you are appearing for mains or interview what do you have to do you have to be so sure that before prelims you need some months before mains you need some months but when once when you start preparing a year or two year back weekend thing is the best for working professionals or students okay so let's move on to next question ha huh. so that's the point see how can we keep pace year long now this this is a, i think this is like most of this is a common question for for all the working professionals or the students who are busy in their studies also yeah so first of all uh, there are two question how can we keep pace year long and how can i manage the time when on job so first let me answer how we can pay, keep the pace year long so now see this is you know now this is an exam what is an exam which is a competitive exam ias is a competitive exam so competitive exam means that you have to be pay, it's a race basically it's a race like formula 1 we, we all know what is formula 1 it's a race so again upsc is a year long race how to keep pace you have to have that fighter strength because even if you will get selected even if you will get trained still you have to work year long there is no break there is no holiday as such because once you are a district magistrate or once you are a subdivisional magistrate sdm then also you have lots of work you have to deal with n number of agencies you have to deal with daily with people so you can't even think of relieving yourself so that is the motivation even i have to work so hard so why should not i prepare hard this is not an exam in which you will be given a seat in which you will be given a seat and you will have to do nothing i am telling you you have to work a lot ias and ips is a field where you have to focus on your energies channelize and you have to work a lot and 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 believe me that without working a lot without working hard there's there's nothing you can achieve so remember of the like um, like like what example i can give like 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 see mountains everybody knows mount everest is the biggest mountain or biggest peak in this world so now only may and april is the time so it's may and april is the bracket when mountaineers climb they have just one year of one month of time in which they can climb the mountain either it's april or may but they prepare whole year they prepare in some different different scenarios in the whole year to so have so you should have that fighting spirit like the army spirit the 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 champion spirit that i will clear this exam okay no matter how no matter how how to stay motivated despite multiple attempts so see there are attempts given this exam with a purpose that no student no student should feel like that I, he or she has not be able to prepare enough so it doesn't matter see every attempt is a different attempt 
you can't like what we say your past is a past it's a different story it's a different setting same goes for the attempts your attempts are a different thing you you don't have to focus just that my this attempt is like the most important attempt. every attempt is the important attempt and believe me like even if you are a sixth attempter or you are a first attempter the energy the amount of work the efficiency you have to maintain is the same there is not much difference yeah the difference is that the first attempter he is in a different kind of a spirit the sixth the person who is giving his fourth fifth or sixth attempt is a different kind of person because he has gained some exposure and experience which the first attempt person has not got but the energy is same the number of hours you have to put in is the same the number of books you have to read the number of tests you do everything is same but it's it's very personalistic okay so like i'll tell you my example i was able to clear this exam in my fourth attempt first attempt i was able to write mains second attempt i wrote mains third attempt i was not able to write even mains so by by fourth attempt i was like it has become so frustrating so disgusting for me that i am able to i am not able to clear the exam so in my fourth attempt i decided that okay there are some things which need to be changed it means if i am not getting selected there are some fundamental basic things which i am not doing right or there is something which is not right i just went in a self analysis mode and for 2 3 weeks i analyzed my mistakes my strengths my weak weak weaklings whatever i was doing wrong and i realized that there are some areas which i am not focusing there are some areas which is i am overburdening myself so after that analysis i just you know i just, i got to know ki now these are the things which had to be corrected in like these these months or weeks and somehow i did it and believe me it doesn't matter you become an ias in first attempt second attempt third attempt fourth attempt sixth attempt it doesn't matter the the, the joy the, the the success you will get the feeling of achieving the task the feeling of completing your mission the feeling of the fulfillment you will get is beyond everything so whenever you feel like i am not motivated enough i have given so many attempts it's been like like a lost war for me or like a lost race for me rechannelize yourself reenergize yourself found find a way see everybody has a way everybody every individual is a unique individual every individual has a way find your way and get back to the preparation kyunki main bata raha hu aapko the attempt which like which is there every year is in a different like लास्ट ईयर कोविड में भी लोगों ने एग्जाम दिया अभी कल ही रिजल्ट आया पीपल हैव स्टडीड इन कोविड आल्सो दिस ईयर अगेन पीपल लाइक यू गाइस जो आप लोग एग्जाम दे रहे हैं और देंगे वो भी अभी कोविड टाइम चल रहा है विल टॉक अबाउट इट इन सम टाइम सो सी पीपल आर रिलेंटलेसली डूइंग इट सो यू हैव टू फोकस दैट वंस यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू अपियर फॉर यूपीएससी नाउ इट डजेंट मैटर द टास्क हैज टू बी फिनिश by getting selected that is the spirit like i have to get selected i have to go the other side of the exam okay so i think uh, we all are clear with this point and there is a question maintaining notes so see maintaining notes is like you have to do from day 1 your book your handwritten notes your photocopy or xerox notes or your some other kind of notes have to be balanced like for history your book your personal notes you know that this is my history bundle this is my geography bundle and you have to make some notes daily from newspaper also i am not telling that you write 2 3 5 pages but at least some pointers 2 2 3 5 pointers but you have to make something out of the newspaper you have to get something up of the newspaper daily okay so uh, i think let's move on to next point because we'll talk about if you want to about this we'll talk about this more if you want it okay so again um, again a good question how to leverage work experience during interview 
See, once once you are in an interview, once you are in an interview, you have to understand the gravity of this. That you have given like some year, some months in the preparation. You have cleared prelims. You have cleared mains. Now you are sitting in front of a five member UPSC board, which has uh, enough knowledge of how Indian government works, how government of India works, how what is the system. So they are there to test your personality. First of all, you should keep this thing in mind, the gravity of the situation that by one interview, what you can be in your life now. Second, whatever is your field, like if you are from an IT field, I'll answer that question. Uh, First, like if you are from IT field, if you are from some other like banking field or if you are some from some other government like you, you are in some other government organization, you have to put everything like whatever you have learned from that exam, from that job, from that work experience right in the front of interview. The interviewer will definitely want to ask you like, okay, like if you are in IT field, he will ask you what, what is there which is not in IT field that you want to come to and become an IS. Then you have to tell he, my field is different, IS is different, but I have to have served the people. I have to do this thing. You have to tell your passion. This is my passion. I, I want to do this. Okay. And if you talk about the work experience, see, Nobody is, it's, this is not a bad kind of exam where everybody is judging by your work experience. People clear UPSC interview at the age of 21, right after the college, without any work experience, they become IES, IPS. So this is not exam, this is not an exam where work experience is mandatory. It, this is something plus point for you. You have to use your work experience, your exposure to the work, any kind of work. As a plus point, you have to cite some examples where you were in your work scenario and you how how you just able to solve a problem. Because see, after becoming an IS, most of the time you will be doing the things execution. The work is about execution. You have to do a lot of things and you have to monitor it daily. Like consider there is a road broken. There is an area. There is a problem in an area. There is like some some mishap has happened you have to monitor it daily until you and your seniors are sure that this thing is now not a cause of problem it means you have to solve the problem the same goes like you have to have that plus point of your work experience that you will be able to crack the interview and and they will not they don't ask like too much detailed questions too much actual questions they mostly ask about your aptitude like they want to know that will you be able to hold that line of responsibility that line of courage that line of dedication and determination which we need to work daily so all those things if you cite an some example some scenario from your job and how you were able to solve it that that works but it doesn't mean that work experience is mandatory, work experience is required. This is just, interview is just a personality test. Like this is a person, he or she will, he or she will be fitting in the job of an IES, IPS or some other official job in government office. Okay. Now there's a question, how frequently can we have a holiday, both from job and study? Okay. So again, there is no hard and fast rule. See, there is no fixed time that you have a holiday from job and study. Like, but still, I suggest that fifteen days, fifteen days is a time, not weekly. Because if you'll take every week, if you'll take a holiday, then you will be not able to focus again on study. So fifteen days is a time, fifteen or twenty days, where you should take a break. And you, in that break, the break means you analyze what you have studied. You assess yourself. You self-examine yourself that whatever I am doing, 
is on the right path it will take me to upsc or not that holiday is fine okay yeah you can prepare for mains why there is a question like can we prepare for mains while in job yes you can prepare there is not a no but again you have to balance it out you have to do something that your job or your work doesn't get into your mind it doesn't harm your mental peace it doesn't harm your mental toughness rather your work or your job should be you know strengthening your mind strengthening your toughness strengthening your goal to achieve like upsc to clear upsc so if the job or work is helping you then obviously you can do it while in job there is no doubt in this but till like right before mains i think at least a month or 40 30 40 days before mains you have you should try to get a leave because see mains you have four gs subjects gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 two optional subjects and two essays you you can't focus in all these seven things while like if you are doing the job just before your mains exam then not possible but you can't be like for whole year you can't leave job at least for a month or 3 4 weeks you should be free from the job you you just you say it to your boss like you you say it to your organization see i have this exam this is very important for me this is the biggest thing in my life this was my dream this is my dream and i have my mains i want this day leave but before that get into some get basically get into some weekend program or some plan or study with your friend or a group that every weekend you should be giving like like the other aspirants who give daily so for job the students who are in job the aspirants who are working it is a double task obviously it's a difficult task but believe me once you will achieve it there is no no repent that i studied so much i didn't i was not having time to enjoy myself not i was not getting entertainment all these things will be secondary once you clear the exam okay so there is a question sometimes i'm not able to read newspaper daily so making notes on regular basis is not possible can't i rely on monthly magazines to revise current affairs okay so see now this is like monthly magazine everybody thinks that monthly magazine i will not read newspaper for a month monthly magazine will come and i will just revise it so i'll tell you it doesn't work like that okay it doesn't work like that you have to if you are not able to make notes of newspaper daily it's fine but you have to read newspaper daily you have to have reading a good reading of newspaper daily you have to comprehend things daily and notes you can make either twice a week thrice a week if not daily but weekly notes are very very mandatory because relying on just monthly magazines or something is is like a gamble there is no place for gamble in upsc i am telling you this is a very up and dedicated field people who decide and who dream to become an ias and ips they are tough from inside they are mentally tough they are very head strong people and if you want to fight head strong people you can't rely just on monthly magazines or some monthly coaching material you have to have the understanding of daily current affairs of india and the world and that can only be achieved i am repeating that can only be achieved by reading newspaper daily focusing comprehending the news editorial page daily and the notes if you are not able to make the notes daily you can just underline there you can mark highlight the mark you can keep that cutting or devise a way but you have to make notes twice or thrice a week if not daily this is you you don't understand you think that current affairs there is a some current affairs which i can mug i can just kahin se bhi padho i can 
do those things and i will be able to write but the reading newspaper daily because see now covid like let's say take an example of covid covid is there from last more than one and a half year so much has been written about covid every newspaper every day we write something about the virus about something about vaccine about children about something about education so if you think that the day you read about covid in march 2020 and if what you are reading today about covid in september 2021 doesn't make sense that you could have even read today and there was no need to know about covid that time so that doesn't our our mind doesn't work like that okay our mind works that you keep on reading daily you you keep writing some notes which are your like which you know that it can be useful for you in some way in the exam so your mind works like that way if you are if you rely on monthly magazines too much i think that you will not be having that confidence you will not be able to write clearly you will you will have some doubts regarding because monthly magazine is also again a work of some people who try to give their best every month they also have so many news from there they give that this is the gist but you are your best judge like i was so clear about this thing that i am my best judge whatever newspaper i read if i make some notes i used to believe that this this will come and and believe me once you start making notes it is not that much of it is a clinical process a very clinical process like if you have 30 40 minutes for newspaper then you have to focus 10 to 15 minutes on writing you have to focus more on reading and understanding and grasping the newspaper and once you start doing it one in a month or two or in three months maximum three months your mind will be conditioned and then you want to read newspaper daily and you want to write the notes daily i am telling you that is the spirit when you reach on that level you think that ha huh, now i am in the right path for ups okay so the answer is you can't rely completely on monthly magazine you have to have now this is basic you have to read newspaper daily have to grasp newspaper daily and you have to make notes not daily maybe twice or thrice a week okay so let's move, by this let's move on to our other how has covid changed the ups preparation landscape so what i guess that covid has changed everything covid has changed our way of working covid has changed our way of thinking covid has changed the exam itself see last year also exam got postponed this year also the exam earlier was on 27 june now the exam is on 10th of october so covid has changed a lot now what is there for us so obviously for those who are working from home it's good like you are at home you can you have more time to study you will save the the time the to and fro time from when you are going to office coming to office these times you can save but for students like who are doing some studies who are not working and also preparing for upsc they they must be feeling like they they have to do everything from home so see so what what was the scenario scenario is like you are at home because of covid you have to stay at home most of the time and you have to prepare at home now everything is at home you are, you may be you may may feel like i am getting bored why i am doing this so understand the situation that covid world the whole world is dealing with this now we are not alone the developed countries the developing countries everybody struggling because of covid your the working professionals they know that working from home earlier it it was it, it used to seem nice that i am working from home but down the year one year down the line working from home now you feel like i want to go out i want to go out so so have a plan like if you are not able to going you are not able to move out so much have a plan where you can meet your friend where you can meet your some of your family member or where you can meet the like minded people 
who are there for UPSC. You can meet them weekly or in 15 ma 15 days. So the COVID thing should not be running in your mind every time. Obviously, the situation is bad. The situation was worse, like the second wave just we saw. So don't get bullied, don't get dropped by those situations. Just focus that why again focus on the first day that why you started preparing why you wanted to become an it was nobody else who wanted to become an is it was you who wanted to become an so if like if there is one obstacle covid is also another obstacle so you were conquering other obstacles conquer covid as an obstacle too okay there's a question so i would like to read the question can you provide your schedule for pre and mains while in job because every time every time a plan we make get collapsed in a week or month i need one now so nice question from someone that this question is nice so see there is i can provide a plan but i don't know that will work for you or some other so what what we do what we do when we make a plan we make a rigid plan most of the time that now it's enough i want to clear this exam rigid plan like from this 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 so never make a rigid plan never make a rigid or structured plan just make a flexible and open plan like for example what is the difference between a rigid plan and an open and flexible plan for example like if i write like i have to study two hours geography two hours history one hour test one hour current affair two hours my optional and i made a 8 to 10 hour rigid plan but okay my mind will focus one day two day maybe a week maybe a month but our mind is like it it resilience or it it revolts against rigid and structured things Instead of this, what you can do that what you can make a flexible program, like for example, what I did. Okay, I have like uh, eight hours to study a day, and I have like seven days in a week. So eight into seven, I have fifty to sixty hours to study. Okay, so what I used to do, I used to think that okay, fifty to sixty hours. Now in a week, I have to study geography also, history also, everything. Because for prelims, you have to study even science also, science and technology also. So what I used to did, okay, this is my 50 to 60 hours. I will give five hours to history and geography. I used to write down this. I will give four hours, five hours to NY. I don't know today, tomorrow, or on the Saturday, on Friday, but in a week, I will definitely give some time to environment. So that, that is a flexible plan. When, when you plan that you have this much number of hours and you have these number of subjects, you have these number of books or notes, then you have a flexible plan. Okay. But flexible plan doesn't mean that you You don't have a consistency you have to have a consistency in you and how consistency will work it will work once your plan moves from a week to two week to three week to 10 week to 15 week after 15 20 weeks consistency will come so i i believe personal my choice i believe in flexible and open-ended plans in which we write the number of hours available in a week we write the number of options or syllabus or subjects or whatever notes we have to read and we by like we by our experience by the mental pressure whatever we are facing in we give a lot the time to each subject make those kind of plans instead of making daily like writing two hour geography from 11 to 1 1 to 130 lunch no 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 that is not a upsc aspirant to do that is for a school student for a 6 7 8 9 10th class student it is nice ki mera saade saad se saade aad history hota hai because in school we are used to do this 9 30 to 10 ye subject hota hai no 
as an upsc aspirant first of all be mature be brave don't afraid of responsibilities remember that there is a lot to read so much to read so much to write so much to understand so make your mind like become a believer ki these all things i will do but not in a week not in a month gradually i will move the ladder gradually so keep your plan flexible and open that is my one big suggestion don't make it rigid because a rigid plan can only be followed for a week or a month but a open and flexible plan is not to be followed it will make you follow if the plan will make itself you follow whatever you are want to achieve so be in that seat like just calculate the number of hours weekly calculate the amount of work you have to do calculate what test you have to give on sunday and as per the plan or if you are having some weekend classes like there is a weekend class so for the weekdays calculate that i am in a job i can only give 4 to 5 hours a day so study flexibly and the weekend when your class is there you can get into that flow and you can get into the test whatever you have done in your weekdays but be in a open and flexible plan i don't support rigid and very structured plan okay so there is a question after giving few attempts and being unsuccessful in clearing him still trying strong to stand for oneself can he she afford some kind of <laughs> can he or she afford some kind of entertainment which is totally away from see life is all about entertainment okay life whatever we do whatever we try to watch in tv netflix hotstar whatever what what we do we try to find some entertainment so yes understand this thing that upsc being a upsc aspirant is not like you i have become you have given a serious role in a movie no 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 you have to have that kind of feeling that you have to find your own entertainment like daily like what i'll tell you you have a tennis ball if you play like there are some person who just play with a tennis ball for 10 minutes and they get entertained there is some people who watch some comedy show or something they get entertained there are different way to get yourself entertained and this is that field where if you are not keeping your mind fresh your stress relief then you will be facing a lot of problems so just some kind of entertainment should be should be part of your life even if you are not preparing for upsc and if you are preparing for upsc you have to be sure that this is something which i do okay you can play a badminton match in the evening you can go for a run if you like if you, if you like running or if you don't like running you can go for a walk whatever daily evening or morning it, it whatever suits you but you have to keep yourself entertained i hope i answered the question of narayana now again there is a question how to get rid of nervousness during pre preparation see so now while, while you are preparing for upsc you have cleared your school already you have cleared your college already or you must be in your final year of your graduation so tell me like when you were in school while writing exam there was nervousness or not while you were in college there was nervousness or not so nervousness is a part of our system it's a part of human system the mental nervousness just tells how mentally tough we are everybody gets nervous but if you able to believe in yourself that the task which i have taken in my hand is a big task there is something big this is something big to achieve because because of the amount of responsibility you will be getting once you clear the exam so believe in that that what what i will do when i will be in a situation as a district magistrate sub divisional magistrate or an sp of a city or some 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 officer of some area so if you will be able to handle that amount of pressure the exam pressure is nothing in front of that you know exam pressure is like you can study today if you don't want to study today study tomorrow but when you are in a field when you are working as a district magistrate when you are working as the sp of a city 
you have to be so sure that if there is something you can't put it on another day you have to solve it that day you have to handle it that day only and that belief will you know take out of your nervousness that i am getting nervous in preparation what will happen if i'll get selected and i'll able to i will be told to do all those things so and keep keep some like uh, what we say some guardian guardian angel like your mother your father your sister your brother somebody your friend some relative your mentor your teacher whenever you feel the nervousness you should have somebody to talk about it okay if you are able to talk about it the pressure the tension the stress is will be relieved i am telling you if you this is such a proved thing if you talk about your stress tension it will be relieved and you will get new positive energy new positive vibes be in the people who are positive don't be in the negative set of people who always talk i will fail i will not be selected i have not written good i have not prepared well rather be in that group of people who say that ah, i will clear this exam this time i will study more this time i will find a way to clear this exam who talks like that because as we say na birds of same feather flock together if you are in a different kind of flock which is a negative flock you will be in behind only but if you are in a positive kind of setup there's a birds there's a like a a group which gives you positive energy which makes you a believer which makes you head strong then definitely you will clear this exam one day because see when i was started i gave four years to this exam to clear this exam in the meanwhile i finished my llb but i i used to believe that i will clear this exam one day because the the the, the peer group around me was so motivated in itself that we will clear this exam and like out of four or five we have only there is one person who was not able to clear this exam because of some personal problems but most of like four of us have cleared this exam and working in different different states and it is such a pleasure to meet those people who were there with you while you were struggling while you were working hard to make your days like count so so i think like this question nervousness you you should be focusing on to relieve it relieve it okay working hard and working hard without working hard you will not get anything and if you will work hard you will keep your head straight if you become a believer you will work hard daily there will be not that much of nervousness in your body okay and yeah you can talk to any senior any time people will help to get you out of nervousness i think so. thank you and so there is one question how to prepare essay by self so see essay in, we are writing essay since school in school we used to told that 300 words essay 400 word essay 500 word essay now there are 1000 or 1200 word essay but in school there was a different purpose of making you write an essay it was like you should how you understand the subject how you understand the topic and what you think of the suggestions or the future and everything same thing goes here but the motive is different here the the examiner wants you to understand that how much you have understood the upsc the studies related to upsc the 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 working the the system how it works if you are not able to write on those line how you are able to like comprehend the world affairs like there is a meeting going right now in un our pm is there un meeting and if you are not if there is something which is related to that that situation or that event in your essay and if you are not mentioning it it will leave a mark so the essay in upsc have a different motive and purpose so in structure and in the basic requirements they are same but the motive is to know more about a person like what kind of person you are so if you want to prepare for essays by self 
you should write at least two to three essay every week. Not if not thousand words, you can write three hundred to five hundred words. But you have to select the topics which are relevant in present times, which are important in present times, and which are on the lines of UPSC. And you should choose a different kind of wide subjects. Like if you have written an essay on sports, the next essay should be on governance. The next essay should be on of our financial system. The next essay can be on health. Next essay can be on. So keep writing different, different, different kind of essays. And this is not this is not a mandatory thing that you write thousand word or twelve hundred. But you, if you want to practice, start with three hundred, four hundred words. Go on to five hundred, six hundred words. You gradually move. Okay, write short and smart essays. Start. By doing that, okay. M maximum two to three essays per week is nice. If you're not able to do three, at least two. Because if you'll do only one essay, then you you're not able to think in the other dimension. I want you to write at least two essays per week if you want to practice and different topics, totally different topics. So I think uh, I thank you so all. To come here to listen to me, but the biggest motivation is you self only. Okay, yourself. The biggest motivation, the biggest inspiration is the person who is dealing with UPSC. You have to find something within yourself which motivates you daily, which inspires you daily. Only that fire will take you to the other side. If you rely on some external source that. I get motivated by this person or by this thing or by that. Maybe you're not able to sustain. This is a long journey. This journey is not just about preparation. This journey is about working also, training also. So keep self-motivated, self-inspired. I have to do it. This is my job. This is my task. I have to do it. Okay? Uh, I'm a 21 year working professional pursuing first year of my third three year LLB. So yeah, I told you, Kalpesh, I also I also cleared my UPSC while I was in my third year. I I gave UPSC in my when I was my first year law, second year law as not able to clear it. It was tough to manage. So find a routine in which you give some amount of time to your law studies and a major amount of time to UPSC if you are serious about it. but daily and be strong be headstrong like you will do it you are 21 year old it doesn't matter you have the energy of a 21 year old you will clear in, in next or next attempt but keep fighting keep determined like I will give this exam and I will clear this okay take help of your professors take help of your friends when there is a topic of uh, like law which you are not able to understand don't give much time to it make your friend or your professor that sir i am also studying for upsc please make me understand this topic so find a way okay so i hope uh, i hope the session worked and uh, to 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 be like very truthful to you if you are like preparing alone the whole one year or two year it will be difficult you get yourself in some some plan or some some you know mentorship or something like if you are not able to do daily kind of classes at least get into something which keeps you keeps your track weekly keeps your track i like 15 days or monthly find something which keeps you on track which pushes you like every week because this is a tough competition this is a tough place to stand and fight People here are very much self-motivated, they are self-inspired and they are able to go to limits to clear this exam. So you should be ready for that. So getting into a weekend plan, getting into a test series, getting into some current affairs classes, some weekly thing is, is, is something you, you should look forward because at the end of the day, while preparing alone, you may get lost. But if you have some track or if you have some experts dealing with you, I, I think it's always nice. But the motivation, 
and the inspiration doesn't come from outside it comes from inside so i think by this i am at the end of my this the the session and i i feel so good that i was able to answer your questions i hope that you you guys you work you will work hard and who asked that entertainment question it is important keep your mind de stress do something either sports or some other watch something so that you have something in your mind to for the next day also because every day you have to conquer it okay so how to improve english vocabulary and writing see this is not again a one day task read newspaper newspaper read at least two newspapers so i used to read indian express and hindu at the same time i never missed reading newspaper yeah i i was not able to make notes every day but i used to make i used to cover it up i used to make twice or thrice in a week but i never miss reading newspaper so i enjoyed it and you will not believe in my daf the detailed application form we fill for the interview one of my hobby was reading newspaper i wrote that it is a hobby because when i started preparing newspaper was normal thing but after 3 4 years in this preparation new reading newspaper became my hobby like running was my hobby traveling was my hobby and one hobby was reading newspaper so by that only i was able to improve my vocabulary i able to enhance my words my knowledge of words and obviously you don't realize while reading newspaper you have you get that writing skills also so the best answer is to improve your english vocabulary and writing newspaper daily okay how we choose our optional okay so optional is again see it's a very personalistic choice very personalistic choice it's it's about the passion it's about the interest what you have in your mind what your mind takes it like if i am a science student i i am very i was a science student i was very clear that i i will be able to study any subject if it keeps me interested i tried for psychology i tried for geography i tried for anthro but finally it was philosophy which kept me in the loop i cleared this exam with philosophy because it was the subject which i had the interest most like out of all those optional geography geography was a nice optional i i used to love geography but again it was my decision that i cleared this exam with philosophy so it's again a personal choice you ask people but you have to read the you have to give some time to option like i gave some time to this this option but finally i chose philosophy as my option. newspaper the hindu indian express mostly these two work, will work because they they cover a lot of things they cover they have a different kind different set different mind of editing so you will get a diverse range of news and comprehension from them so yeah so my traveling hobby so you again see traveling helped me a lot i failed like three times i got in this is in this exam in my fourth attempt so when i was not able to clear in my second and third attempt it was it was a low time it was it was tough time you know it was it was tough inside people were telling me that this he will not able to do this why he is doing why he is wasting time why he is not able to focus on his regular law studies but traveling took me to places yeah i i used to love travel so i whenever like if these kind of thing happen i used to travel for 4 5 days or a week i used to come back different mind different setup be energized and i used to work hard for like 3 4 5 months in a row if i'll take if i used to go on a traveling holiday or a weekend i used to work for like 3 4 months very hard i used to be hard on me and that's how only i was able to crack the exam in my fourth attempt because traveling as a hobby helped me a lot it kept me on my aim on my dreams it it was it it made me clear 
that yes, UPSC is a dream. I have to clear it. So yeah, you can pursue your post graduation also and concentrate on UPSC preparation only. See again, it it's if you feel like that I have to focus only on UPSC, then it's your call. But to because UPSC again is a gamble. It is a luck. It is something about luck also. So you should keep your plan B ready, and you should be doing some course or some postgraduate studies. But if like postgraduate studies is taking a toll on UPSC, then you have to think about it. You have to get a new plan, something new, because UPSC will need will be needing time. It will it will take your energy. It will take your efforts. It will keep you busy. It will it will make you. You know, it will make you suffer, I'll say, because without suffering, there is no joy. Okay, there's no joy without suffering. You can't, you can't be feeling joyful if you haven't seen suffering. The UPSC preparation will make you suffer. And if you are able to endeavor that, you can endeavor some post studies, post graduate studies also. So I think I have answered like most of you. My my point of here coming here and talking to you guys is that please focus. This is a again an important time. Prelims is just like two weeks away. Then the mains will be there. So focus on whatever you have read till now. Revise hard whatever notes you have made. At least look them. Give give them a reading. A fast reading once, not a whole day, but still give some time. Concentrate your energies to one focus that I have to clear this exam and believe universe will be with you. You yourself will be feeling like what I am doing. I am doing good every week. Keep a self report card like every week. Right? Okay, this week was fruitful. This week was productive. And capitalize whatever resources you have. I'm telling you, anybody who has been selected, like yesterday only list came UPSC exam, people got selected. Nobody was having the whole resources. Every time the resources are less and the task is more. So believe in those things and prepare hard, work hard, focus on your dreams and Get this thing in mind that every dream has a cost. If UPSC or IES is your dream, there is a cost. The cost is hard working. The cost is your daily practicing, daily writing, daily studying. The cost is not going, not able to do those things which your friends are doing, not traveling that much, not focusing on fun that much. but if you will be able to get your dream, you'll be able to achieve your dream. If you'll be able to fulfill your aim, that joy will surpass everything. Believe in that. Okay. Now, this is a personal experience. I've been working from five to six years now. And I was able to clear this exam in my fourth attempt. But still, I believe that it was worth those four years. The four years which I put into it were worth. And because of those four years, what I'm doing today made me more stronger, made me mental tougher. And I'm now able to get those jobs done, which I can't even think of. So yeah, nobody is a born IS, nobody is a born IPS, nobody is a born civil servant. This is something you take it as a responsibility for yourself. You go through it. You develop those abilities, you train your mind, and finally you clear the exam. Okay. First year students, yeah, you can start preparing first year, but first year is a college year. You should first focus on settling down in college. You can start preparing from second year, third year, fourth year, but don't first year is like you're just out of your school. First focus on tabling and settling in college. Savita. Second year, from second year, you, you get into the swing. But first year, because they will be asking a lot about your BTEC in your interview. So first year, just focus on 
settling down in your college and then start preparing. So I hope it was nice talking to you guys. Keep pushing yourself hard, work harder, make daily some new boundaries for yourself, new limits and break those limits. Like if I want to do 100 questions today, I'll say that I will do 200 questions today. And I, if I'm able to do 200 questions today, yes, that is the task. Okay. And before prelims, take one day rest also. Last day before the last night or the last day before exam, don't give too much stress. Don't study so much. Whatever is in your mind, keep it calm and just go and write the prelims. My best wishes with you. And I hope that some of you will be able to do this. Some of whom you will, if you're not able to do this, you will fight again next attempt and you will clear it. Okay, that should be the spirit. Thank you so much. My best wishes with you and keep working hard. Thank you.